How's it going everybody? Adin here once again, this time bringing you some standard action, not 2022, but actually ranked standard best of three. So a little bit different today. We're going to be running out Naiwinota. It's an exciting list. It's an explosive list. So let's see how far we can get up that ladder. But before we jump into that deck tech, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch me on Twitch.tv on the link down below five to six days a week. We got partner last week. Excellent news. So check us out. Let's have a look at that deck. Okay, everyone, so this is our Winota list. The aim of the list is to get as many non-human creatures down on the battlefield as soon as you can, hopefully hitting a turn three or a turn four Winota and driving in those triggers. For those of you that's not seen Winota before, where have you been? But whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library, you may put a human creature from the library onto the battlefield tapped and attacking it gains indestructible until the end of turn now this is explosive cards if you can work towards getting a jasper sentinel down a ranger class an innkeeper or, or even a magda then hopefully as soon as you're able to hit that winota onto the battlefield you can start activating those triggers we can get things such as a spellbinder which then reaps things from our opponent's hand we can get things such as the blade historian which allows all of your creatures to gain double strike or if you're exceptionally lucky in the late game, get a Kenrif down, which means that at instant speed, we can start adding counters to things, we can start gaining life, and we can start giving our creatures trample, which combined with the Blade Historian is just an exceptional boost to get out of your library. A little bit of removal here in terms of the Bone Crush Giant, which is still prevalent in standard until it rotates. Um, but in the sideboard, we've got two copies of Red Cat Melee, uh, one copy of Burning Hand, which, which is exceptional against those mono green lists. I think actually this list is deserves a second one um uh, we've got a portable hole which deals with those low cost creatures and the scorching dragon fire we've got a couple of copies of a chrome wall one in the sideboard one in the main deck if we're coming up against any of those big bad uh, creature decks and there's lots of mono white running around and so the archon of of absolution is just imperative there there's still some sort of ultimatum list so we've got those royal in vortexes to, to deal with that and anything that has any graveyard synergy or if we just need that extra little bit of life or incremental damage to our opponents we've got two copies of of, of Clothis. Uh, yes, there's some rogue list coming around. So we've got one copy of Chainweb or Ragnar. This can probably uh, be cut uh, in all honesty. And on the off chance we're against any opponents that like to uh, mill us out, such as those rogues, we've also got a Ox, which not only gets rid of um, cards in our graveyard, which lowers the power and toughness of, of our opponent's creatures, um, but also it gets us a big creature onto the battlefield that helps to replenish our hand so in a nutshell that's everything a couple of additional cards here we've got two copies of uh, the azika's chariot works exceptionally well with the renoto in that we get two creatures that are attacking in and generating those triggers it's also powerful in that we can make copies of our token creatures our token cat in this case um and one of the uh, the the uh, drizzit uh, do Erden, greatly pronounced uh, double strike when it's about to feel create a four one uh, green cat Creature token with trample. Uh, whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than this card's power, uh, put th that number of 1 1 counters onto it, which is equal to the dis uh, difference. And I, and I think this card's exceptional. It's something nice and something novel that works well uh, with this deck. It's probably uh, cuttable. Uh, but I think as a whole, this is really strong. So let's jump into those games. Wish us luck. And remember to drop me a comment down below if this is a deck that you've tried before or whether it's something, you know, that you're inspired to try and how far it's got you up that ladder. So wish us luck. Okay, so game one, Azazel. Let's go. Ooh, opponent is 79%. Um, hmm. We know it is great here. Three mana could do with some more, but I think we're gonna keep. Okay, white start off for our opponent. Ooh, some great cards coming out. Some absolutely fantastic cards. Okay, sword doesn't get equipped straight away, does it? I see. Right, so. White mana, we're going to pass for the Bone Crush Giant. Hopefully, they're going to spend all turn equipping. Let's have a look. Speaker. Sure. Speaker's dangerous. Um, Speaker is dangerous, but I think... Wasting their turn, getting rid of the Princess is perfectly fine. Not enough mana to play this, sadly. 
So it looks like we're going to be playing down the Bone Crusher Giant. And we pass. We hope that we can get Winota online. Um, plus two and Vigilance Maul is great for them. They attack him. Three damage. Pass. Green mana. I mean, I think here we have to go for Winota. And attack him. Oh, we whiff. We whiff straight away. That's not good. That's not good. Oppo can start making uh, angels this turn. Um, I get a blade historian down and attacking with Winota. Gives double strike a second more. Wow. That's just gas. We could be dead here. We could be dead here. 7 5 vigilance. 2 10 clock. Uh, GG's Oppo. Uh, just, it's just. GG's, we can't do anything here. Um, mm -mm. Cat with Trample. Double Strike. And the creature dies. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like we're passing to our opponent. They, 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 they just win here. They're, they're not blocking that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, so, white creatures. We're going to get the Archon of Absolution in. Protection from white. Mm -mm -mm. Vivian helps make blockers in the air. Ranger class might be too slow against them. Ranger class is a fantastic card, obviously, but uh, Runner Foul is great. Some interception in the air. Scorching Dragon Fire seems good, as does Portable Hole. I mean, I think we've got to get some removal in, just on the off chance here that we uh, we aren't going to make it. Maybe take out a couple of Spellbinders. I know they do fly. Um, but equally, we, we, we need that grasp in the air. Um, mm, mm, mm. An A Archon should be fine, right? Maybe we put down our, our, our Kenris just to one and play it back. Fingers crossed. Yikes. Okay, could be Azadil's first win in a while by the looks of their percentage. Seems like they're on a little bit of a bad streak. Uh, play first. <sighs> I mean... Keeper here with any mana at all. Okay, I'm gonna keep. We're, we're, we, need, we need to play some risky moves sometimes. And we pass. Our opponent also had an absolutely amazing run. Come on, land off the top one time. Sometimes you've got to be lucky. Get the Keeper down. Makes a treasure and pass. Okay. So we've got a block straight away. Mm -mm -mm. Block straight away. Uh, dancing swords. Okay. Pass to attacks. No attacks from our opponent. Wait, they're attacking? Huh. Um, yeah, I'm going to block. The LC is fantastic. It's very strong. We're going to pass. Red mana. Love that. Mm-mm. Hamster? I think we go for the hamster. And we attack him. So next turn we can get the Winota down. Mm -mm -mm. Princess, sure. Alcide, sure. Uh, can't be blocked by creature of power 3 or greater. Sure and shot. Sure. Spellbinder there. Mm-mm. I think we go for the Winota. And maybe just attacking with both here? Blade Historian's great. Blade Historian is absolutely fantastic here, giving everything double strike. I'll put it down to eight and we pass. Next time we attack in again, this time with Winota as well. Uh, we can also hit the Spellbinder. What's this? Do, do, do. When it dies, creates the Tongue Legendary Weapon. Sure. Sure. Oppo Scoops. Interesting, that. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got to just fire it straight back out and fingers crossed.
So we were very fortunate in that last match. We did keep a risky um we did keep a risky one lander. This is fine. We've got a sentinel which helps us. We've got a stomp as well to set them back. Uh, we might be short of white mana, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, we've got to play this down as a green. Oppo Mulls, Speaker of the Heavens, nice. Oh, there's our red as well. Look at that. We're just... We're being very lucky, let's say that. We've got a blocker here. There's a princess again. Oppo's got no attacks. Seems good for us. We can hold up stomp or we do porthole. Um... I kind of like stomp. Let's pass. Let's pass. Next turn we can double spell. Princess. We can always put... Okay, what are you going for, Apo? A second speaker. Pass to attacks. I mean, I've got to stomp here, I think. Just to keep up the momentum. Sure. Sure, so we're going to go white mana. I'm going to play this down. And instead of attacking, I'm just going to generate a white mana by doing this. Portable hole, take out the speaker. And suddenly, we seem in a in slightly okay position. So this can't be blocked by creature power 3 or greater. That's fine. They get one attack in. Ooh, okay. Okay, GG's Oppo. GG's Oppo. We don't move in the rank, but it's a good first game for us. Game two. Brawlers? No idea. Play first. Ugh. We can't keep this. We can't keep this. Too many high-end spells. Let's mulligan. Okay, this seems good. We will keep, and we'll probably ditch one of the Jasper Sentinels, I think. Going to play a green mana, play down the sentinel. I love that. Next turn, hmm. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Red or white? Let's go red. Play the innkeeper. And we'll attack for one. Okay, that seems good. Next turn, we can play the Ranger. Oppo with a Jandif Magistrate. Does that impact me in the slightest? I do. It's casting spells, isn't it? We're not casting spells. That's fine. That should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, what do we want? We've got... Do we need white. Beautiful. Gain a life. And no combat pass. So we've got a blocker here. We get the window to that next turn and we get three creatures from it, which will be gas. Wait, can we still do window to next turn? I think we can, right? I mean, it's not going to be as good, but I think we can. Let's get a white mana. Pass. My turn. Play this down. Keeps the keeps the air of mystery almost. Sure. Sure. I mean, if we have a opponent scooping, that works. Stick at ninety six percent after two wins. Really? Game three. B. Wait, is this our good friend Chris? He has five E's in his name. It could be. I'm going to keep... I'm going to say hello just in case on the off chance it is him. Okay, they didn't say hello back, so... Maybe they're just, maybe just rude. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's very interesting if it is. Right, they're on a, they're on a very similar list to us, I assume. Okay, interesting this time we've got the Chrome Wall, so we can try that out. I wonder whether or not we go for... Hmm. Giant Killer down, sure. Oppo plays another two drop here. Or oh, a Fight Spell, perhaps. Ooh. It's a bit rude, Oppo. Ranger Glass? 
Hmm. Ranger class or this? I mean, I think I'm going to go for this just because I like the idea of creating a treasure. The treasure really kind of interests me here. Oppo could play down the Bone Crusher Giant. They could even kill this again. That, that's something they could do. Okay, mm -mm -mm. so they're off. Uh, my friend Chris is offline on Discord. So it might not be them. What are we saying, Oppo? You're going to play down the Bone Crush Giant? I think you are. Or are you going to tap this down? No, you're playing that down. That's fine. Elite Spellbinder? Could be the one. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go Spellbinder here. I could go Innkeeper into something more. Innkeeper into Ranger class. Now, I think a Spellbinder is good. It takes them off of Winota. Giant Giller, Paladin class, Showdown. Let's take them off Showdown. That seems important. No attacks. So we've got blocks here and here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, we've got no gas. With, with, so no Winota is difficult. Like, if we was able to slam a Winota next turn, it, it just works a little bit better, right? There's a Paladin class, as specified. Happy to do any trades here. Really? Okay, what have you got, Oppo? What, 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 what tricks are up your sleeve? <gasps> really? Ooh. Hmm. Creatures you can drag at plus one, plus one. I mean, in my mind, they, they activate this before and then they attack in, unless they thought that was instant speed. They could have thought that was instant speed there. So maybe a little bit of an oops moment for our opponent. Uh, this does green as well, right? Let's do double green here. Let's go with the uh, inkeep. I like that. I'm actually going to attack in with the uh, with the Magda as well. Create a treasure, but and they might even block. You know, we're, if, we're reducing resources from them all the time, which is kind of what I want here. That'd be an amazing block. Go for it, please. <sighs> really? Um, I mean, completely irrelevant, but okay. We're going to go for the Ranger class. Make the 2-2, two -two, gain a life. Um, I could pop this. I could pop this. Maybe I do. Yeah, why not? I mean, the thing is with those, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it for the other creature, the, 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 the Magda. Uh, but what this means is if our opponent, like, try, so they might keep this in hand now to accelerate as a, okay, maybe, um, ignore me. I'm talking garbage. Creatures game plus one, plus one, sure. Sure. We know to here. Seems great. I mean, I'd love to fire this out, but I, I just... Gain a life. And then we're looking for a double hit here, aren't we? Looking for a double hit. Let's just go. Let's just swing. Put, the, put this here so it's a good blocker. Oh, really? Yep, that seems good. Gain a life. Uh, do I get one more as well, please? One more little treat for us off the top. I suppose now going to regret getting rid of the giant killer. Or play a scoop. Wow. Um. Okay, so what we need now is just lots of little removal spells. Uh, burning hand seems great. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? Chrome War seems a little bit weak. Mm -mm -mm. Viv as well seems bad here. Mm -mm. Archon. Creatures can't attack or planeswalkers unless their controller plays one. I mean, that could be good. That could be done. Maybe get rid of one chariot. And I kind of want to get rid of another creature to facilitate that. Maybe a spell bind and get a second one of these in. Uh, porthole as well as a removal spell. And I'm happy going down one on the ranger class. In fact, I might actually go down two on the ranger class and play as chariot instead. I mean, I know the ranger class was very helpful last term. But it, it, I don't know. It kind of feels a little bit slower in this deck compared to others. Now, I might be completely wrong with that, but we'll see. We will see.
Now, do we have an opponent? Mm -mm. Ooh. No white mana. Got the green for the chariot. I mean, I think we do keep. It's difficult. It's difficult not to keep this, right? Okay. So this is actually good that we're not against an opponent. It's just double scooping from us. We're actually getting a game in this time, which is fantastic. Play the den first. Oppo with a mulligan in the mirror. Green mana. Sentinel. It's just disgusting, isn't it? White mana. Portable hole first. Take them off of that double spell next turn. We don't have a Bone Crusher Giant, so we can't kind of preempt anything. Um, I like that. Play the Den Burglar. Get our way to the Blade Historian or the Archon. Or, or in, in fact, the Chariot, you know. Yes, they did have to play a Tap Land there. Great to see. Beautiful. Red mana. So this could be a Spellbinder. That's going to take the Blade Historian, I'm assuming. But maybe they should be taking the Chariot. I mean, it makes all the creatures. It is just fantastic with Venota. The, the, the synergy is excellent. They did take it. Okay, great to see that. Uh, we're going to play this down for green, and we pass. Now, the one thing we don't have here is board draft, so we do need to be responsive to, to what our opponents play. Um, I kind of like the, the Archon here. It just slows them down in terms of attacking. Do I play it? Okay. Let's play it. I'm going to get this for, I think, white mana. Given the fact we've got a red in hand, uh, go for white mana. Play down the Archon. I think Oppo's got some sort of removal spell. There was a there was a pause, so maybe like a Bone Crush Giant or something. Yeah, I mean, should it have been the Blade Historian there? I mean, it could have been any removal spell, you know. I mean, we've just sideboard loads him. Showdown of the Scalds. No Winota in hand, but they do have a red cap melee which deals with Blade Historian. Yikes. I mean, it just dies straight away, so we probably have to... Four, it comes in... Oh, actually, no. Four. You know what? You know what? Let's play it out. Create those one ones. I mean, why not? Why ever not? Oppo's got to play these this turn or they lose them. Sentinel, they're going to put loads of counters on this. We might be going to a game three here. Um, three spirits there. They're going to lose um, one Bone Crush Giant, right? Okay. Oppo's got a hefty 6-4. And nothing much else than what we've got. Uh... Okay. I'm going to play a Blade Historium. And I'm going to stomp the Spirit. I don't want them making kind of double spells here. The Blade Historian's bad enough. Oppo's still stuck on 4 mana. Maybe we should have actually gone for the Chariot. Maybe the... Oh, no, because that's six, actually. We wouldn't have been able to get the Stomping. I think that was important. Okay, I'll probably just going to go Ham in the Air, and I think this is GG's. Yeah, there was no way we winning that. We couldn't deal with the... Uh, we couldn't deal with the Flyer there. So we're going to go to game three. Um, Chrome War seems good. Maybe Run a Foul can come in here. Run a Foul, maybe get rid of a... Uh, b -b 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 maybe get rid of one of these Archons. It did seem weak against the Stomp. Hmm, it did seem weak against Stomp, didn't it? Okay, let's play it out like... Huh. Let's play it out like this, and then we'll see. Then we'll see. Hopefully we're not going to... Oh, actually, um, I've just seen that last game. It did actually take us up a percentage. It was, it was a visual a visual bug. We're going to play first, and we've got gas in hand, so this seems good. We're going to go for a mountain. 
Now, do I do ranger class? A 1-1? One, one? Hmm. I'm actually going to go for ranger class here. It gives us a blocker for the 1-1, one, one, which the, uh, the Magda doesn't. A ranger class from our opponent. Nice to see. Right, so we're basically... Ah. I was going to say we're taking a turn off, but... Hmm, maybe we're not. Can I have a look at some white mana? Kind of like to attack in here. See if our opponent wants to trade. They do. Get the Magda in. We're going to be the first ones to get a Winota out. Even if our opponent has a Spellbinder here, we still, we've got a backup Winota. Which feels good. Sure. Take out Winota. I suppose we're going to attack him with this one, I think. Actually, no, they're going to keep this back so they can trade. Hmm, that's great. Let's go for a, uh, let's go for a red. Let's get the Winota in. Let's get the ball rolling. Excellent. Absolutely excellent here. I'll put it for block. Um, do I get the extra one damage him? Nah. Beautiful. I'll put it down to... I'll put it down to 15. This is a human, by the way. So if they do have their own Winota, it doesn't actually work. I'll put it for a removal spell for hours? Could be. I mean, I'm more than happy here just hitting my ranger classes. Could play this down for green, double ranger class, chef's kiss, love it. But one one counter on the creature. Okay, I'll put, I think I'll put it's going to go for there with own Winota. We get to make a doggy with this as well. Mm -mm. What are you saying now, opponent? Not even bothered to sleeve their deck. Very lazy of them. Oh, wait, a kill spell for Kendriff. We always seem to hear this off the top, don't we? It's just, it's always there. Giant killer? Uh, sure. Interesting move. Any attacks? They, they are attacking. I mean, okay. I mean, do I do double? Let's do double. Why not? Let's do double. Make it a 6-6. Six, six. Love that. Oppo could spend all turn killing uh, killing this. Like, if they have another giant killer. But again, that's an entire no, uh, entire new turn. And then we're just attacking him for four here. Oppo's down to nine, so they can't really afford to do that. They could play a Love Struck Beast down. It provides a good blocker, but... The port suggests they don't have a land. Are they going to do a double spell with a Love Struck Beast and the Giant Killer? Glass Casket on the 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Respect that. Hmm. Wait, they're playing the Giant Killer down? Instead of using it as a Ranger class? Sure. Protect him for three. I mean... Instant spell. Look at the top card of your library. You may cast a creature from the top. Hmm. Kind of like doing that. Oh. Yeah, that's actually quite poor. Um, Like, literally, that is one of the only creatures I can cast, right? So... If they block there, that's good. We can hit the portable hole on the giant killer. Again, on the off chance that they... I mean, I mean, to be fair, the Giant Killer's really good. The Giant Killer's really good because it can tap my Winota. Now Oppo's in a position where they can't really afford to attack in. What the, uh, they don't know we've got removal, so actually they could just play the Love Shot Beast down as a blocker, keep attacking him for three. Um, they might even play the Love Shot Beast down and um, hit a Ranger class. That'd be great because then we can kill the Love Shot Beast and attack him for lethal. Um, I don't know if Oppo's going to see that line, though. They've, not, they've only got, like, two cards in hand, so... 
There's a Lost Shot Beast. Are they going to tap one of the Ranger classes and attack in? There's another land. Could be another Giant Killer in hand then if they had that pause, right? Hmm. Interesting. Wait, they're doing that now? Oppo, that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, sorry to see that, Oppo. Yeah, scoop. I mean, they scared us for a minute. But I think they did misplay towards the end. Back up to 99%. Let's go. Okay. So what's looking like the final game of the video? Kale Zor, play first. Ooh. I mean, I think with the Ranger class and the Sentinel, we've got to go first, right? We've got this Lyra as well. Love that. Okay, so next turn we're going to go Ranger class. Excuse me, guys. The, the beauty of Ranger class is it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with massive upside. Shambles. We'll look at against Mono Green. This is going to be interesting for everyone because Mono Green is a... Is a, is, is a list which is doing very well. Uh, they've got a Stone Cold Serpent in hand. The pause is giving that away completely. Back-to-back -back Ranger classes. Love that. Let's attack him for one. No blocks from Oppo. So, Bone Crush Giant is quite difficult here. They're going to play a... a, a oh, we will pack leader, for sure. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the question is... Oh, I can't really play that. Play this in, tap it. Have it for one. Or I could do this and attack for three. Just feels bad. I mean, getting this in straight away just seems like the right play, but... What is it? Or it could be this. Could be. I, I think I think it's this, just to prevent anything kind of coming over the top here. Uh, ram through as well, which is dangerous. Do I take them off a of ram through or Stone Cold Serpent? Stone Cold Serpent's problematic, but we can deal with it, I think. Uh, let's take them off a of ram through. Okay, definitely block here. I mean, Oppo, I'm not sure. Mammoth? Perfect. Beautiful. Right, white mana. Um, here then, let's go for... Hmm, mm -mm -mm. Could double tap this and attack him for three. And then just play... Oh no, I can't play both down, can I? Mm -mm -mm. I can play a ranger class down. Make another dog. And play this down. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's monopolize everything we have. No attacks. The next turn I can start making things bigger, start getting my attacks in. Oppo's got a mammoth here. I'll trade the mammoth for the 2 2. Okay. Oppo can use the ram proof here. They decide not to, though. Interesting. So we're going to play a 4 4 Stone Cold Serpent down. Oh, they're going to play a Lovestruck Beast. A Lovestruck Beast is excellent. I can't do anything about that. Ha. Huh. I'm going to crack this for red. And what we're going to do is double these up. Mm -mm -mm. And we pass. Interesting one here. I mean, if I'm, if I'm an opponent, I'm going to start using... I mean, these mammoths are just excellent. Big five damage? Yikes. Ten damage? Take ten, they've got a ram through? Nothing's got trample, I mean... Mm -mm -mm. I've got to take ten here. No blocks. Uh, it's problematic. We just... Our, our creatures are so small, we can't get it through. We kind of actually did need that 3-1, but... I mean, at the time, it was worth it, right? If I'm up here, I'm just slamming the 5-5. Five, five. There's, there's nothing... Okay, sure. Okay. When it dies, 
Whenever a, a creature dies, if it had a power greater than this is power, put a number of counters on it equal to different. So that's actually quite interesting. Um, again, I, I can't really afford to do anything. Now maybe I can, maybe I can attack with this. I mean, I suppose got no trample just yet. That's why I was so shocked to see them not play that. Okay. That seems good. We end the turn, pass back to our opponent. This has got double strike. So, I mean, Oppo's probably going to kill this now, right? Understood. And pass back. I can take a fair whack here. Oh, no. Questing Beast, really? <sighs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. G -g 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 we were just about in it there. Just about in it. I mean, uh, the mana was the mana was kind of screwed from the start, but that's fine. The Chrome Wall comes in as a sure. Burning Hands is also in there. Portable Hole as well. Scorching Dragon Fire, I think, is going to be great. Um, and what do we take out? What do we take out? Maybe the Vivian can go. I love everything else. I mean, everything just seems really clean and, and nice and tidy. Um, maybe this is a little bit, you know, top end that we don't need. Uh, Spellbinder can probably go down one space and innkeeper another one space okay let's run it back fingers crossed that we don't lose this last game that was very poor first game from us i think well we were as aggressive as we could be we didn't have the red mana at the start um we did keep a quite a problematic hand i guess so Game two. Um, <sighs> Mulligan, sadly. Uh, this looks good. We put Kenrith back in because this is a card that we want to get out. Okay, love that. Red mana say go. We're short on the green. That's fine. We can work our way. And we've got white and red so far. Enough for a Scorching Dragonfire off the top. We can start making 1-1s one -ones with the Den. What are you playing? Okay, 1-1. One -one. 1-1 one, one is fine. The Chrome Wall, they're looking quite nice as well. Let's pass back to our opponent. Now, have you got a 2 drop? Maybe the 3-3? Three, three? Mm, no 3-3 three, three for you. Really? Ah, there we go. Ranger class. Okay, so we're going to kill this straight away. Green mana off the top? No green mana. Well, let's get Magda in and play the 1-1. One, one. Um, what do we do here? Like a land off the top, we're attacking with Winotha, right? For sure. I hope we could have removal here, though. Looks like it may be a ram through or something. Or a, a blizzard, blizzard brawl. Ram through, there we go. I'll play this with a 1 1. Green man off the top would be gas for us. Please. Stone Cold Serpent for one, nice. There we go, there's the green. So we play this and get ourselves a chariot, which works exceptionally well with Renota. This is exactly the game two that we need. Pass back to our opponent here. I don't think they can really afford to attack in. Love Struck Beast will come down. Gem Razor, you're kidding me. Gem Razor is excellent. Gem Razor is really, really good. Huh. That's something to get the Chrome War in a minute. Okay. Let's go for Winota. Go green here. Back in with these two. Two winnow to triggers. We need them to be big. Blade Historian. Spellbinder. Minsk. Blade Historian. Oh, and the Spellbinder as well. Let's go. We get rid of, I think, we're going to get rid of a Wolfpack leader. I might have to drop a, a blocker here. There we go. Love that. Okay, I'll put it down to six. 
if they play like a big stone call serpent we are chrome war this and just attack him with all again you know everything with double strike just seems really powerful i think we'll be going to game i think we'll be going to the next game big stone call serpent seems good we're gonna go for the chrome war take out this one attack him with all off of the ggs uh we know to sure Yep, that's what exactly what we want. Pass the blocks. Beautiful. Yeah, the current wall was good there. Not necessary, but good. Right, next game. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I mean, that was problematic, but I don't think there's anything we can do with it. Let's just run it straight back. Okay, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is going to be a gamble. But I think it's a gamble that we have to take. Turn one, Sentinel. Turn two, Ranger class. Into the Magdas. Let's go. Let's keep. Ooh, did Oppo miss a trick there? Let's see. So we overtake. Turn one, Sentinel. Oppo could go for the Ranger class turn two, though. Scavenging ooze. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. And we'll pass. A good block here. I mean, if Oppo does attack him with this, we don't block there, right? Because they're likely to have like a um, a ram through. So they probably should attack. They are, they have got a ram through. They probably should attack first. Oh, it's a blizzard brawl. Okay, sure. That's clever. That's clever. It removes my um, it removes my chances of uh, getting gaining mana. They're going to eat, maintain their attack. Sure. I'll probably overtaking here slightly. Red mana off the top could help. Ooh. Hmm. Sure. Um. Ass. Do I double block? I do double block. But again, they could have a ram through, so it's all, it's all very up in the air. If they're attacking, it's probably not worth blocking, right? <laughs> Gem razor, sensational. I mean, the current war on this now is uh, problematic for our opponent. Pass to attacks. Get red out. No blocks. Sure. Green. I think... I'm going to play this Magda room. Doesn't matter which one. Five damage is five damage. Pass to op opponent. Now, if they have a, um, uh, they have a questing beast, we are in trouble. It's a fight spell. Land. Could play another five five like they did last time. What's underneath this? Scavus. I mean, ideally, this dies. Okay, no blocks. Take five. A Chrome Wall seems good. Have they got anything big to play? Like, uh, a Love, a love Shrub used to be good here. For them to play. We take a Love Shrub Beast off them. Because equally, I don't like getting something with Chrome Wall and then just tapping it straight away. It feels bad. Like, because if, if we were to take this, it just taps. Second Gem Razor. Sure. Um, another white mana. One, two, three, taking this. I mean, here, I have to a chrome war. Oh, they've got a. No, I don't think they do. I think we're chrome war this. They could have a snake skin veil. Love that. Six damage. And pass, I think. Oppo could have removal. Removal and eat, does it? They don't have to attack in this turn. They have to attack in the turn after. So six, seven, nine, ten. One mana off winning. 
Got protection with both of these. We're going to have to block. Looks like they got a fight spell, though. <laughs> GG's off it. GG as well. Nothing we can do about that, chat. Absolutely nothing we can do about that. What a shame. So there we have it, everybody. Not a perfect run. We lost out in the last game to Mono Green, which is one of the top lists in the meta at the minute. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if it's a list that you've tried before or if this video has inspired you to try it out. But as always, I've been Ardeen. Make sure to give the video a quick like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch me on Twitch.tv on the link down below five to six days a week. And until I see you next time, stay healthy and I'll catch you in the next video.